喺英國投資買樓咧，究竟仲唔仲划算？咁咧呢度好多朋友咧去咗英國啦，移居啦，而誒、哎、搬。成家人咧由香港就搬去英國，咁大家都好想好想試下咧去投資房地產喺英國嘅。咁咧我就睇咗一個 video 咧，係一個英國嘅商人啦，而佢係有好多物業，亦都好多生意嘅。咁佢俾嘅 advice 咧，我就同大家分享一下咧。我本人睇見佢嘅誒諗法啦，咁我真係覺得咧非常之同意嘅。誒、呃、發現咧喺英國做。誒房東咧真係好多咧隱藏咗不平衡嘅比例嘅，咁咧就同大家分享一下條片啦，去解釋嘅嘢啦，咁我亦都同大家咧係誒剖析一下咧我對於佢嘅想法嘅。I'm falling out of love with buy-to-let property investment. It's an idea I've been flirting with over the last few years, and it's really come to the forefront of my mind. And I wanted to make a video of wanting the idea of it anymore. You know, when I started out in my business, I was 18, 19. I was buying property because I loved the security. I loved that you got paid twice. You Paid twice, you would get capital growth, and you would get income and rent. The government weren't bashing it all the time. The media weren't bashing it all the time, and now they are. And we're seeing a plethora of new taxes. It's not tax efficient anymore. If you own property in your own personal name, you don't get the interest tax relief that you did、uh, from a few years ago, and you now pay a penal rate of stamp duty, an extra three percent over someone that's buying a property to live in. Now, he's talking about three percent. 增長嘅誒誒 stamp duty 嘅，咁呢一個咧，大家都係要誒知道嘅啦。其實就係有人係可以咁樣做嘅，有誒即係誒非常之麻煩啦，亦亦都咁誒。除咗呢個之外咧，就做做一個誒新嘅房東咧，喺英國好多好多唔同嘅。誒方法呢係要即係腰斬你嘅收入嘅，例如啦，佢所謂嘅 EPC rating 啦，客嘅誒權利啦，亦都係你要要要搬搬佢走嘅時候呢，係要有啲咩需求啦。咁啊，亦都有唔同嘅方法呢可以做生意嘅，唔需要一定呢真係要做一個呢 buy to let 嘅 landlord 嘅。咁你作為一個房東呢，當然啦，呃個個都好想咧，即係玩誒大富翁啦，咁啊逐個逐個格仔去儲咧，尤其是英國啦，好似好開心咁啊！買啲樓咧可以有六個 percent 啊，咁之類之類。咁但係其實咧最大問題咧就係講緊咧依家嘅所謂嘅唔吸引嘅誒收税啦、税收啦，咁而咧當你係誒去咗某一個收入嘅時候咧，當當你係如果你喺英國住，咁你嘅開支咧或者收入咧係超過咗咧誒四十五 K 嘅話咧，你嘅嘅税咧係越漲越漲越高嘅，而咧有好多嘢咧係唔可以被扣除嘅。It's also bad for inheritance tax. You know, as I've been trading my business more and more, I've been thinking about this stuff. You know, I'm thirty-seven. 好啦，佢啱啱就講咗咧係誒遺產税啦，咁亦都咧對遺產税係好不利嘅。咁其實咧呢一個係誒一度個好 hot topic 啦。咁大家好多人咧當然啦係為咗下一代著想啦，你買咁多層樓去儲磚頭咧，都係揾諗住咧俾下一代嘅。咁大家咧真係咧真要三思咧。其實如果除咗誒你諗住俾磚頭俾小朋友之外咧，不如咧諗下咧係整個 trust fund。咁個 trust fund 咧可以俾啲收入俾小朋友仲好過。因為始終咧，麻作當你個小朋友咧，誒、呃，即大家如果有一日咧，即即大大家咧，誒、呃、有啲咩事情發生嘅話咧，咁小朋友咧係誒有咗你嘅房地產啦，係負擔咗你嘅 pop 所謂嘅 property portfolio 嘅話咧，揸住幾層樓好開心啦。咁如果佢當有一日諗住賣嗰層樓嘅時候咧，所謂嘅。遺產税係好金嘅，咁你可以話係四十個 percent 都得嘅。咁你大家要慎思，佢當佢買一層樓咧，反而賠咗夫人有折兵嘅。Eventually, it will own the freehold because the mortgage will be paid off on that day nursery. And then, if I wanted a residential property, it's not tax efficient. Should you die to pass that on? But if you have trading businesses with commercial property tied around them, that is way more tax efficient. If it's a, tra-、um, a transfer of a going concern to your dependents, you know, like a farm or a factory, and you make stuff and you own the freehold of the factory, you can pass your kids、um, that. 
property through the trading business way more tax efficient than you can if you have residential property. So that's another reason I'm starting to fall out of love with it. I'm looking at it now when I try and make the deals stack up in terms of return on investment. You put a deposit in, uh, let's just come up with a scenario here. You put in anywhere between 20 and 50,000 pounds to acquire your so-called buy-to-let property and that 50,000, 20,000, 10,000 pounds goes towards the stamp duty, the legal fees, the deposit to go towards the mortgage and then you're going to get a return of positive cash flow that's after paying you know repairs and your interest on your mortgage and your tax of maybe 100 to 500 pounds per property so you're putting tens of thousands of pounds into something hard capital to get a few hundred pounds return a month and people might think well it's pretty safe James I'm pretty happy with that but actually if you're good at business and entrepreneurship and I'm taking by watching this channel that is an idea that you flirt with do you really want to put tens of thousands of pounds into something to get 100 to 500 pounds pounds a month of positive cash flow should you be employing another person that might bring in hundreds of thousands of revenue into your business and tens of thousands of profit each year into your business and you might then say well there is a risk to that uh, because that employee might not work out but you need to get better at employing people better at business so you're making smarter decisions or could you put that money to go and buy and acquire another business or could you put that money into commercial property the 很好多了,好過呢,是買一個apartment或者個house呢,咁你收租,咁而你個return呢,其實真係比較少,因為呢個稅係英國嘅稅呢,是太多了,又有stand um, this is the thing that I'm really starting to realize with my business, my property business. You know, if I've got a property and I'm selling one right now, after I've paid the mortgage, I'm going to come out with about £250,000. I used to live in it. Um, it was one of my early property purchases and I just kept it and rented it out. Um, so it's quite tax efficient, the money that I'm going to get from that property. Now, I had two choices here. Do I take that money, put it into another buy to let property or do I do something else with it? Could the equity be far better used to allow me to get more profitable cash flow? I would say yes. I could go and buy a quarter of a million pound commercial property warehouse and help myself to about £35,000 worth of rent per year, which is way more tax efficient, much better yield than I could ever get on residential property with hardly any work because I would put a tenant on there on a fully repairing, insuring lease. So if the boiler breaks down or something goes horrifically wrong, that's not my problem, that's the tenant's problem. So there's massive more advantages of commercial property. But I could also put that quarter million into buying another business that would be better for me making more profit. 如果去個熱水爐包或者什麼任何問題的話,都是關於房客的問題,不是你的問題 周旋的,所以你說買鋪是很有潛力的,如果你買得對,買得準確的話,真的是保證你有很穩定的return,而不需要那麼擔心的。好了,今天跟大家分享這麼多先,希望你會喜歡我們大家看看否則是人家其他的